either this is the exact same one I have. Nah, that's different. Look at the sleeve. The sleeve is has the extra oomph on the bottom of it. I have the, I think, I can compare clothes. Sorry, I ain't trying to flex, I was just talking. I feel like I'm chosen, I'm covered in gold. I wasn't intending to make this part, but I just want to apologize for the sync between the video and audio. This was my first try at doing a collaboration, bringing someone else on the channel. I definitely had technical difficulties here, so bear with it. You can hear us just fine. Our faces just don't match the words. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Font Leroy's Finest. And today I have special guest Larry D on wow. the channel. Hello. Hello, Larry. Thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. So today, we are going to go over the FTP drop list. I wanted to bring in the professional Larry D for this drop list. He has shared a ton of images, I'll say a ton, for FTP at least, this early, uh, of what they're dropping. And Larry, looks like it's going to be a huge drop. Yeah, uh, Zach was saying the he's the owner of FTP. He was saying that it's going to be the biggest drop in a long time. Man, like, you know, ever. He was talking about it's going to be a big, big drop. Yeah, it looks huge. A huge there's a varsity jacket in the back that has a similar thing as this, but on the this. right here, it says a different letter. This is added. So there's going to be a new varsity jacket. That one right drop. there, you think? Yeah. It's at the very beginning, right next to those white pants. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I didn't even see that. Good catch. I'm a leaker. That's what I do. I post info. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you find it all. Okay, so, yeah. Anyways, the beginning of this video here. Uh, so we, yeah, we got some pants on, and and how do you, the pants? You you have some pants you showed earlier, right? Oh yeah, I can show them. Yeah, so I did get a pair. They're uh, these are just the jeans, but everything fits pretty true to size. And these khakis are gonna have like um a print on the like leg that's like the same color as like the pants. Like it'll be like a lighter khaki on top of the khaki and like gray on top of the black. Who would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party? Sizing, anyways, compared to Supreme pants. Supreme pants fit notoriously big. Huge! And other than their work pants, all their stuff fits like bigger than so like true to size. Okay, so so yeah, so if you were buying Levi's, FTP should be similar, I guess. If you're buying regular regular <laughs> ass jeans, <laughs> that's actually why I compare everything to is how Levi's fit compared to it. So yeah, I would say damn near the exact same. All right, cool. So we're definitely going to get some cool pants from them. Um, some sweatpants are there. Now, I stopped the video here because this, this shirt makes me stop the video. This sweater. That's a thick-ass mom! I love the subtle FTP on this. Probably are two other colorways of that sweater. That would be my guess. Yeah, I still, the black one to me is still the move. Yeah, classic. Yeah, it really looks good. I can't, look. I get glare. I'm like, I can't see what it looks like. But yeah, that looks really cool there. The shirts fit me a lot bigger, to be fair. Like, the, the larges mm -hmm. than a Supreme large. Because I usually wear larges, and I find that the FTP larges are, are a fair amount bigger. In the middle here that says FTP, yeah. as a lining will come with free pins. It has a pocket protector with pins <laughs> with FTP. I forgot about that. This one? We get Could free pins? Yeah, free FTP pins in your pocket. So that's a nice dress shirt. With fuck the population all the way down yeah. it. <laughs> yep, yep, wear that to work. You can see this right after the sweater. You see that right next to your black sweater you like? Yeah. It's on top of it. Yeah, kind of. I think of... it's a two-tone fleece. Oh, yeah, definitely. That definitely looks like a cool little fleece. Not that that's necessarily subtle, but it's definitely not as, like, out there. Their color patterns are nice and kind of regular colors. They don't go too bananas crazy. Mm -hmm. But, like, even this dress shirt with the pens, right? Like... It's still kind of just, a, yeah. if you don't notice it, you don't notice it. Not everything that I do is subtle at all, but again, I, I do appreciate that a lot of it is. Got a little jersey here. I'd probably like to see the front of that. All right, yeah, and so then we have some jackets that we can kind of see, and then that looks like a tracksuit. So that's cool, and you, this was from Zach's uh, feed, right? This is a video off of his Instagram. Yeah, his Instagram story, yeah. That's usually how he leaks a bunch of stuff. Also, uh, you're talking about how this was really wearable. The reason it is because unlike, you know, Supreme with James Jebbia, who usually isn't seen as Supreme, Zach from FTP wears all of his stuff. You'll see him in his own clothes all the time. And his friends, he'll put them in those uh, co-workers. All of them will wear FTP. So this you mm -hmm. shared a couple of band, so a three-pack of bandanas. So this is one of the accessories, I guess? Yeah, he usually leaks one or two accessories. And this is a three-pack bandana. So you'll get one with this, like, he's used this on a TB4, this, like, cross FTP logo kind of design. Yeah. And then you get like a skull, which he's also done on a hoodie and it glowed in the dark. I that, don't know if these do, but they could. That hoodie was 
fire as shit. I love that thing. My roommate bought that hoodie. Yeah? That thing looks cool. Mm -hmm. What else do we got? This paisley print also has a design in the middle. I couldn't find the picture because he leaked it over a year ago, but it has a middle finger in the middle of it that says FTP as well. Then I didn't see this from anybody else. Is this is this an exclusive? Is this a Larry D exclusive uh, leak right here? <laughs> this three way leak. All right, cut, tell so me, tell me the, the three leaks. All right, you get the bowl here. Uh, I know I don't think he's ever dropped a dog bowl. And you get this collar. Collar. But the uh, real real leak is this uh, glow gain half evil rug. The dog's sitting on. Probably out this summertime. Chief Keef's brand. Chief Keef, yep. I'll tell you, that dog is uh, is way cooler than I am. Far more style than <laughs> He I has am. more heat than both of us. Got that un unreleased heat shit going on. Exactly. Like an influencer. <laughs> Alright, and this is one of the T designs that there's, that's coming out. This one's pretty fun. This gun one? Yeah. You said there was a story to this one? Oh, this, yeah. So, this uh, graphic is, I think, a play on like the, the T-shirt's dangerous. Cause he's pulling like a gun. A lady had emailed him, Zach, and had said that she wanted her money back because her kid had bought a whole bunch of FTP. And she thought the brand was dangerous and would like lead him astray and stuff like that. So I think that he made this tee in reference to that, like this t-shirt, which is like, this is a t-shirt, but it pulled a gun on somebody. How dangerous FTP is, it's a piece, it's a shirt. It is. That's basically why he settled the woman. He's like, you know, I'll give them back the money. He actually, on the flip side of that, he actually sent that kid a care package underneath a different name so he can still get his stuff for free. That's exactly like that. Honestly, the, the ignorance of people to think that a t-shirt could turn you to the dark side. Some of the brands, the people behind them are just assholes. I'm not gonna say V-Loan, but I'm going to say V-Loan. And they just kind of radiate kind of You're going to say V-Loan. I got to throw Sicko in there as well. A wart on the nose of humanity, and I'm going to blast it off. Well, I, I, also, Zach's part, like, of the community, too. Like, like he, he pays attention to a lot of drops and low-key people, too. Even once he's not friends with he'll order stuff with his own money like and get drops and stuff and show them off which i also appreciate that's a hoodie yeah it's, it's a good hoodie i think it's um a screen printed logo but i'm pretty sure that's that script is embroidered which is nice this script definitely looks embroidered to me as well at least that signature there either way it, it looks pretty cool that's a cool design for the back of a hoodie for sure now is this embroidered is what do you think this is it says embroidered fat drunk and stupid is no way to go through life so so is this another hoodie maybe or a crew neck you think now i'm thinking it maybe a crew neck yeah. yeah it's like a thicker collar probably take that into to like a walmart though it looks like a scanner more than anything than a real gun <laughs> beep 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 <laughs> one of scan guns yeah, yeah. <laughs> again and that's all embroidered that looks that looks pretty cool um, maybe not my favorite of the group that we've looked at so far but definitely pretty cool this shirt here is definitely my favorite graphic that they that i've seen so far it's zach's too <laughs> i know it says it right there maybe ex explain the shirt to folks that maybe don't have any history with ftp all these graphics he has used on like um a classic tee or hoodie before. Uh, you get like this underdog rip and this Chucky in front. Married couple from a comic and this Ralph Lauren polo bear. You also get Boris and this little hat guy. And they made vinyls of those, like little vinyl statues. Yeah, and I, I saw the Boris rug, uh, but last, last oh, year yeah. at some point. That rug was huge. I know, I saw it. Did you get it? Somebody posted it. That, right. uh, that Boris one was cool. I, maybe plus one, maybe somebody in plus one. Shout out to plus one. Yeah, shout out plus one. Now, I think I was talking earlier in the video about like the last drop had tees that people went for. That tee is gonna be one that people go for. That tee would be really nice. It's gonna age really well. I think that's all the stuff that we kind of have at the moment. A hey, nice clothes, gentlemen. First off, thank you, Larry, for taking the time to sit down with me and we could talk some FTP. Yep, yep. Thank you for having me. And uh, we got to do this more. I, I definitely know the setup is not ideal for this. Larry does not uh, have a voice that comes out of his mouth three seconds after he talks all the time. That is totally technical difficulties <laughs> on on my side. Hey, does this suit make me look fat? No, no, no. Your face does. Larry, give him the lowdown on, on what when this stuff is going to be available to look at and maybe when they're going to be able to buy it if they're lucky and fast. So I'm pretty sure that the drop will be this Saturday. It will be at 3 p.m. EST Eastern Time, but uh, the lookbook will be up for preview on the website on Friday. So Friday. if you see the lookbook on Friday, there will be a drop definitely on Saturday. Sometimes he likes to postpone. He gets a little busy and forgets there's a drop day. Shit happens, man. Oh, Lord. Yeah, <laughs> shit happens. Indeed. Shit happens. I'm sure that uh, this drop seems pretty big, and I, I have a feeling that, that Zach's going to focus this weekend, maybe, on, on yep. this one. I believe too. Sweet. All right, well, again, thanks, guys, for, for watching us. Larry, take him away.
We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you bared with it that long, you are a real OG. And please, guys, subscribe to Larry and definitely check out some of his videos right here. Hey, hey,